Okay, so you've got this amazing gaming PC, right? But maybe you want to kick back on the sofa or uh, play on your tablet somewhere else in the house. Yeah, or even loop in a friend who's miles away. Exactly. But the big question is always how you do that without, you know, losing that smooth, high quality feel you get right at the desk. It's a common problem. Laggy streams are just no fun. Totally. So today we're going to try and cut through some of that confusion. We're doing a deep dive based on a really helpful YouTube video we watched. Ah, uh, yes, the one from Blinkow. That's the one. It's called Moonlight vs. Steam Link vs. Parsec. Which one is better for game streaming? 2025. Pretty clear title. Right. So our mission here, essentially, is to break down these three big players. Moonlight, Steam Link, and Parsec. We'll look at what makes them tick, where they shine, where they maybe fall short. And hopefully by the end, you'll have a much better idea which one makes the most sense for your setup, for what you actually want to do. Okay, let's dive in then. First up, Moonlight. Now this one's a free app, but the key thing, and this is important, it's mainly for folks with NVIDIA graphics cards. Right, it hooks directly into NVIDIA's GeForce Experience software. That's the, uh, the companion app NVIDIA users have for optimizing games and stuff. And the source video really highlights its main benefit because of that NVIDIA connection. It gets, and I'm quoting here, very smooth and high quality streaming. And crucially, low delay lag. That low latency is key. It makes games feel fast and responsive, almost like you're playing locally. So it taps directly into the hardware encoding on the NVIDIA card. Exactly, that tight integration is its superpower. It means less processing overhead, potentially better image quality and quicker response times. But like you said, the big catch is right there. It only works with NVIDIA cards. So it's a bit specialized, a kind of premium experience maybe, but only if you're already in that NVIDIA ecosystem. Precisely. Top performance, but for a specific audience. Okay, so what if you don't have NVIDIA? Or maybe you just want something super, super simple. Well, that leads us neatly into Steam Link. Yeah, this one comes from Valve, the company behind Steam, obviously the biggest PC game store and platform out there. And its main selling point, according to the Blink How video, just how easy it is. It's apparently very easy to set up. You basically just connect your devices to your Wi-Fi, log into Steam, and, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah, the source makes it clear it's perfect if you only want to stream games that you bought on Steam. Yeah. Makes sense, right? It stays within that Steam world. It supports controllers, too, and generally works really well just inside your own home network. Simplicity is definitely its strength. But, as the video points out, that focus can also be its limitation. How so? Well, it might feel limited if you're trying to stream games you didn't buy on Steam, mm -hmm. or maybe if you want more control, more advanced options for tweaking the stream. So great for straightforward Steam gaming at home, maybe not if you need more flexibility. Exactly. It nails its specific job. Easy Steam game streaming. All right, so Moonlight for NVIDIA performance, Steam Link for Steam simplicity. What about the third option, Parsec? The video calls this one a strong and flexible app. Yeah, Parsec is kind of the uh, the all-rounder, maybe. It's different because it doesn't just stream games. It streams your entire computer screen. Oh, interesting. So you could use it for more than just gaming. Definitely. And that means it works with almost any game, regardless of where you bought it, yeah. or even non-gaming applications. The source also mentions something unique about it. Remote play with friends. Yes, this is a big one. It's apparently very popular for remote play with friends. It lets you basically share your screen and controls so you can play local multiplayer games together online. Even if the game itself doesn't have online multiplayer built in. Correct. Or even if only one person owns the game. It's like virtual couch co-op. Pretty cool. <laughs> that does sound useful. And you mentioned non-gaming uses too. Yeah, the video notes it's great for remote work or using another computer from far away because it's streaming your whole desktop. Okay. Sounds powerful. What are the downsides? Well, it still offers high quality video and very low lag. Mm -hmm. Similar to Moonlight in potential performance, but the trade-offs are uh, it really works best with fast internet. Probably more sensitive to connection speed than the others. Makes sense if it's streaming more data or needs that low latency for remote control. Right. And it also might need a bit more setup compared to something like Steam Link just to fine-tune settings for the best experience. So let's try and wrap this up based on the source. What's the final verdict? Well, the Blink How video gives some pretty clear recommendations. It says Moonlight is the best option if you have that NVIDIA GPU and really want the absolute smoothest and fastest gaming experience. Makes sense. Leverage the hardware you've got. 
then Steam Link is a great choice if you mostly play Steam games and value something that's quick and simple to use above all else. Right, for the plug and play Steam user at home. And finally, Parsec is the most powerful and flexible. That's the one if you want to stream any game or invite friends to play or even control your PC from far away. So the big takeaway seems to be, Parsec offers the most features and freedom, but it might demand a bit more from your internet and setup. Whereas for pure ease, especially within the Steam ecosystem, Steam Link is hard to beat. And for that peak NVIDIA performance, Moonlight's the specialist. Yeah, it really comes down to your priorities and your specific situation, your hardware, your internet, what games you play, who you play with. So lots for you listening to think about regarding your own habits and your gear. Are you chasing that absolute peak performance with NVIDIA? Or is the simplicity of just firing up your Steam library on another screen more your speed? Or do you need that ultimate flexibility any game, anywhere, maybe even sharing the fun with friends remotely? You know, it's really fascinating when you step back and look at these tools. It's not just about where we play games anymore. How do you mean? Well, they're kind of blurring the lines, aren't they? Between having your computer right there and accessing its power from, well, anywhere. It makes yeah. you wonder. Wonder what? How might this whole evolution in streaming start to redefine what we even think of as a personal computer in the next few years? Is it the box on your desk or is it the power you can access wherever you are? Hmm. That's a really interesting thought to end on. Definitely gives you something to chew on.